is everybody a painter before they come on Paint Provence? No, I have a lot of beginners. I have people coming who've never painted in their lives before and who've been totally astonished that they can actually paint. Uh, and have said to me, oh no, there's no point. You know, I'm just here with my friend and I'm going to enjoy it. And I've actually found that they can do it too. And, and that's just a wonderful thing to, to be a part of and to see the surprise in people's faces that uh, they can they can do it in, uh, and that they can enjoy it. And, and I really do believe that that comes from not worrying what the, the outcome is, just enjoy yourself. It's, uh, painting is an extraordinary form of uh, enormous pleasure and it needs to be that way. Tess, it's been lovely watching this painting evolve. <laughs> how do you how do you start? How do you how do you structure it? What's what's your what's your approach? Uh, well, when I do uh, wild flowers or just a field of flowers, or I have no structure. I just sit in front of it and see what flower pops out at me first, and then I paint it. <laughs> And then I try to make it as higgledy piggledy as it is in the field itself because there is no, it is maybe ordered, I don't know, but it's just, they all come up as they want, they shine as they want, and the only thing they do is they follow the sun. And mm. so it, here I am following them. And I think most importantly, it's the freedom of being able to enjoy oneself and not having any sort of expectation of the outcome of how this painting is going to be so I just let it happen and then if I like it I keep it and if I don't I use the back and if I don't like the back then I tear it up <laughs> or I use it for for rough paper so it's I think very very uh, particularly painting outside and I think it's very important in painting to particularly this sort of painting, is not to have a, this is how it has to be, this is how my painting is going to be, and this is how it, I want it to be, because I'm setting myself up for disaster that way. If I just don't think, and just look at the beauty, and let the beauty sort of, hopefully, transfer itself in a kind of magical way onto my canvas, then I'm very happy.